Question 2b reads, a survey carried out in a certain district showed that out of 215 teachers, so let's collect information first, total, total number of teachers is 215, okay? So they are saying a survey carried out in a certain district showed that out of 215 teachers, 170 taught mathematics. So 170 taught maths. 100 taught additional mathematics. So 100 taught ADMA. Additional mathematics, I'll just say ADMA. They taught ADMA. Then 41 taught computer science. So computer science, I'll just say CS. 65, 65 taught mathematics and ADMA. So 65 taught maths and ADMA. Then 30 taught additional mathematics and computer science. So 30 taught ADMA and computer science cs 26 taught computer science and maths and 21 taught all the subject but a they are saying illustrate this information in a venn diagram okay so they want you to illustrate this information in the venn diagram all right so this is the Venn diagram that we're going to use. Okay, so remember we have maths, then ADMA, and computer science. Now, how are you going to illustrate this information in this Venn diagram? So the first thing that you're going to do is to feed the Venn diagram the number of teachers that taught all the subject. So in this case, 21. All right. So here, when you look at set maths and add math, this is the intersection of two sets. Then when you look at this part here, also is the intersection of add math and computer science. This one is the intersection of maths and science. So meaning this one that is at the middle is indicating those teachers that taught all the three subjects because this is part of ADMA, this is part of maths, and this is part of computer science. So you're going to write 21 here. All right, so 21 teachers taught all the subjects. Then after that, the next thing is to feed the Venn diagram the number of teachers that taught two subjects. So in this case, so you can check this so that you don't make mistakes. So let's move to this. 26 teachers taught computer science and maths. So 26 teachers taught computer science and maths. So you cannot just come and put 26 here. Since you already have 21 on the intersection of maths and science, so what you are going to do is you are going to say, uh, 26 minus 21 so that you find it, the number of teachers here. So 6 minus 1 is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. So here you have 5. 5 teachers. So that when you add this 5 plus that, you get back 26. Then next, so let's check this as well. Next, 30 teachers taught ADMA and CS, computer science. So 30 taught ADMA and computer science. 30 taught ADMA and computer science. So you cannot come and put 30 here as well because in this intersection of ADMA and computer science, you already have 21. So what you're going to do is you're going to say 30 minus 21. So here we're going to borrow one. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Here you remain with a 2. 2 minus 2 is a 0. So here we have 9. So that when you say 9 plus 21, you get back 30. 
Then they are saying 65 teachers taught maths and ADMA. 65 taught maths and ADMA. So the intersection of maths and ADMA is here. But remember, you already have a 21, so you cannot just come and put 65 there. So what you're going to do is you're going to say 65 minus 21. 5 minus 1 is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. So here you have 44 teachers. So that when you say 6 plus this, you get 65. All right. So you check this and we are done with the intersections. Now we come to this. They are saying 41 teachers taught computer science. 41 teachers taught CS. So the set for computer science is this one here. Now, how are you going to know the number of teachers that taught computer science only? So to do that, you are going to add 9 plus 21 plus 5, then subtract from 41. So what you are going to have is 41 minus, when you add 9 plus 21 plus 5, you get 35, which is equal to 41 minus 35 is 6. So meaning 6 teachers taught computer science only. Then here we have 100 teachers taught ADMA. So set ADMA is here. So but remember we have this. So for us to find the number of teachers that taught ADMA on, only, we are going to add this plus that plus that and then subtract from 100. So we are going to say 100 minus 9 plus 21 plus 44 is 74 is equal to 26. So meaning the number of teachers that taught ADMA only is 26. Then the last one says 170 teachers taught maths. So set maths is this one here. So they are saying 170 teachers. So what we are going to do is we are going to add this plus that plus that, then subtract from 100 so that we find the number of teachers that only taught maths. So we we'll have 170 minus 44 plus 21 plus 5 is 70. So this gives 100. So meaning 100 teachers taught maths only. All right. But remember, they said the total number of teachers is 215. So for us to find the number of teachers that did not teach any of the subjects that were in the survey, we are going to add everything and then subtract from 215. 15. So we are going to say, uh, first of all, let's add these that are not on the intersections. So 100 plus 26 plus 6 plus. So we are done with the number of teachers that are not on the intersections. So we can now add these 44 plus 21 plus 5 plus 9. When you add all this, you are going to see that you have 211 teachers. Now, remember the total is, the total number of teachers is 215. So what you are going to do is, you are going to say 215 minus 211 which gives four. So meaning four teachers were in the universal. So you put the universal, the E here to show the universal. So meaning four teachers were in the universal. So that's how you feed the information in the Venn diagram. The second part of this question says, how many teachers taught, so at A, taught none of the subjects carried out in the service? So how many teachers taught none of the subjects carried out on the survey? It's just these, these four, because they are not in this set or in that set or in that set. So it's just 
four, four teachers. Then B, they are saying how many teachers taught additional mathematics and computer studies but not mathematics. Those that taught additional mathematics and computer science but not mathematics. So meaning this set mathematics is excluded. It's a complement. So you are just going to add these plus these plus that. So we are adding uh, 26 plus 9 plus 6. So 26 plus 9 plus 6, which gives 41 teachers. Then part C, they are saying how many teachers taught two subjects on. So they want you to find the number of teachers that were on the intersection of two sets. So when you look at set maths and adma, the intersection of these two sets is 44. Again, when you look at the set adma and computer science, the intersection is this one. When you look at maths and computer science, the intersection is this. So you, when they say two subjects only, it means you are going to add all those that are on the intersection of two sets. So we're going to add 44 plus 9 plus 5. So 44 plus 9 plus 5, which gives 58 teachers. If you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Please subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share.